Hello, everybody. Oop, I forgot this. <laughs> Wait a minute, girls. I'm here. I prepared everything and I forgot to put this. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Alina from Belgium, a master educator from uh, Ugly Duckling and distributor in Belgium, Netherlands and the Benelux. And I'm very happy to be here today with you. Hello, uh, a lot of people from Belgium, I think. Hello, Anja. Uh, thank you so much to the Ugly Duckling team to, for organize this uh, event. Uh, I'm very happy to see a lot of people I still don't know. <laughs> it's very early in, uh, in BC, uh, but here is five in the afternoon. Um, okay, I'm going to explain what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to do a nail. Uh, I'm going to do an extension with tips, with Ugly Duckling uh, fit tips. Uh, and I'm going to do a color boom, then an ombre. Everybody's asking, how do you do that? And I'm going to show you uh, today how do you do that. It's actually very, very easy. And uh, after that, uh, I'm going to do some uh, uh, Swarovski application. Uh, so I think I can turn my camera and I will start to work. Yeah, I'm going to show the materials I'm going to use. And uh, yeah, it's going to be very nice. I'm a little bit nervous and sorry about my English. It's not so good, but I'll do my best. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to turn the camera. All right. This is the hand of my model. It's actually my daughter. <laughs> She's doing a lot of life uh, with me these uh, days. I don't know if you know, guys, but here in Belgium, we are in lockdown and uh, we are not able to work. Actually, today is a, it's a very sad day because uh, uh, we had bad news. We won't be able to work until 1 February. So it's very difficult. But anyway, we are going to we are going to work here. We are going to enjoy this life. Okay, this is the nail of my model. And uh, I'm going to extend the nail with the premium fit tips fan ugly duckling. I really, really love this uh oh, it's a new box. I really, really love these tips. Usually uh, I work, uh, I used to work with forms always, but since I have these tips, uh, I'm a fan, really. I use them a lot. So I'm going to pick one and I'm going to check if it's the right size. As you see, these tips are very soft, very flexible, and they have a very nice C curve. Okay. This is a number seven, and I'm going to check if it fits. Uh, I think it's just a little bit it's too little for her, so I'm going to pick up another one. I think uh, this is a number six. Number six will be, will be fine. All right, wait a minute. Uh, they are so thin that they... <laughs> stick together <laughs> okay uh, then i think uh, uh, number six is a little bit big for her yeah i would try number seven again <laughs> because i really don't want to file mm, i think it could be good okay okay i'm going to work with with number seven all right um <clears throat> When I use these tips uh, to, to glue them easier, uh, I don't know if you do that, but I, I, I do it. So I cut just these two little uh, corners because for me it's more easier when I cut it off, I can place the tip much, much easier. Uh, 
girls, I will try to answer to all your questions, but the Ugly Duckling team is there and they will be helping me. <laughs> okay, then let's place the tip. Here I have the brush on glue. I'm going to take a little bit glue and I'm going to apply it here on the tip. Okay, and we are going to place, going to push against the nail and you have to check you don't have any bubbles and I'm going to wait 10-15 seconds, I wait, I wait, I have to say uh, if the temperature in your studio uh, it's a little bit warm. The glue is going to dry faster. Okay. After that, I come here and I... Uh, how do you say that? Uh, I glue the, the corners. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. I love it. And now I'm going to blend the tip. Uh, you can work with your file if you like. Mostly I use the medium file, but uh, if you want to work quickly, uh, you can use uh, your, um, I don't know how to say this in English. Okay, this, <laughs> this bit. I'm going to put it here on my e-file. And in this way, I can work very, very fast. Um, 10,000 uh, 10, uh, RPM and I'm going to take the shine away very soft, very gentle because the tips are very thin so you don't want to ruin the tip and I'm going to blend only the corners here very very soft, you don't touch the natural nail but you work only on the tip, okay? until you don't feel anything here, all right? And I'm going to do the same on the other side. If you like, you can also blend here, but this is not necessary. But if you like to do it because you say, okay, I cannot see this line, I don't like to see it, uh, just you can, you can uh, blend it, all right? So you see, it's very, very natural. I'm going to take the shine of the natural nail. Very, very soft. This is a fine um, grit. So you can use it on the natural nail, but really, really, really soft, okay? Then I'm going to do, uh, the shape I'm going to do is a, a pointed almond. I'm not going to work with, uh, with coffin. Uh, then I need to, file here of course just here all these have to go away but if you want to work faster and i love to work faster you can use a scissor and you can cut here you see now you have the shape very very uh, fast all right And the rest you can do with your file, okay? This is the medium file. And I'm going to file uh, under the tip. I'm going to show you the side view. Yes, so I need a line here and a line on the other side. Uh, the Ugly Duckling team from Belgium and, and Netherlands is also there and they are also helping. Okay. Now so I file the other side a little bit on each side. We don't want to fail to file a lot on one side because otherwise uh, your nail won't be symmetric. Okay, just I do a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. So this way I work. All right. Once you are, you are satisfied with the shape, you can start to work with the products. 
Let's take a little bit dust away and let's check the shape of the nail. I think I can find a little bit more here. This is very important when you do the, the nail uh, very good since the beginning. Uh, after that, you don't have to fail a lot. Uh, I have to say something else. Uh, these tips are very soft, so you can pinch them. Actually, you can do... Oh my God, I think I broke it. Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it like that because anyways, I'm going to use some gel here. So you see, you don't have to... Um, squeeze too hard because you can break it okay i think the shape is okay it's a pointed uh, almond and now i'm going to start with the product so okay uh, product number one is the prep nail prep this is an uh, dehydrator and i'm going to apply it only on the natural nail not on the tip right like this it is important that the nail, the nail is very dry before you start to work with any uh, product right thus the second product is the primer and this is for the adhesion i use it always in every um how do you say that enhancement Okay, but here I don't use a lot. I just use a little bit on the natural nail too. And you will see that the nail um, shine, but not too much. This is correct. If you use too much uh, primer, if you see that your nail shine a lot, you can take a, um, a tissue and you can do like this. And so it's better, okay? All right, that was the primer and the prep. Next product in every enhancement is the builder base. This is fantastic. I really, 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 really love it. I use it always under my, my gel because the adhesion is amazing, girls, really. Um, you can use it under your gel polish, under your gel, under your acrylic gel. Anytime, everywhere. Okay, it's uh, uh, clear. Hopefully, we will have more colors soon. <laughs> okay, this is clear, and as you see, the same medium viscosity. And I really, really uh, love it. Okay, and uh, I'm going to apply a very thin layer all over the nail. Okay, so close possible to the skin. When you do uh, a set, you can do four nails together, same time, same time, and the thumb, you can do it uh, apart, all right? It is very, very important that you have a beautiful line here. For a very good adhesion, so. All right. Okay, we are going to cure for one minute in the LED lamp. And so I can take a look to the, to the comments. Uh, what do we have there? I think the girls answered everything already. Okay, so that was the builder base. We are waiting for the nail to cure. And um, I'm going to show what I'm going to do next. I'm going to work now, when she's going out the lamp, with uh, gel color. These are the new uh, gel colors. Um, I know you know we have it already, but now we have this beautiful, um, how do you say that? Dexel, help please. Okay, I don't know in English, this. And this is the real color, girls. This is the color I'm going to use. This is number <clears throat> 19. This is one of my favorites. And this is the real color. And we are going to do a color boom. I really, really love the color boom. I'm going to open here and I'm going to show you. 
look at that. As, as you can see, is the real color that we have here. Great. Okay, yes, I'm going to need this color. Uh, I want to say if you if you want to do a color boom, you can also uh, work with uh, gel polish. Yes. Gel color is okay, but gel polish is also okay. Um, I need my ombre brush. This is one of my favorite two. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start to do this. This is very, very easy, girls. Believe me, uh, everybody thinks color boom is so difficult, but it's even easier than a full color, for sure. So I'm going to take a little bit color with my brush. You can also uh, work with a, a gel brush to apply the color and then you can do the shade with the ombre, but I'm going to apply the color directly with the ombre uh, brush, all right? Uh, I go more or less until the middle of the natural nail because I want to cover the smile line. I want to cover the smile line. Yes, I'm going to apply the color here. Very thin. Really, really thin. The first layer don't, doesn't have to be uh, perfect, all right? Just a thin layer. More or less this way. Now I'm going to clean my brush with a dry tissue. <clears throat> and I'm going to do the fade. When you do the fade, it is very important that you place your brush completely uh, flat. Yes. This way and not this way. If you do this way, you will have a line. You will see a line here. So we are going to place the brush completely flat. And we start to do this movement. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to explain why. Yes, it doesn't have to be absolute, uh, absolutely perfect. I'm going to cleanse again. And I do the same, but a little bit higher. This way. Yes, I try to eliminate uh, the line, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be like that. And I'm going now to cure. And after that, I will apply a second layer because I want more, I want the color to be more intense. All right. Okay. Go. Just one minute cure. After that, I'm going to apply a second layer. I'm going to make a, I'm going to draw something for you so you can understand better how we're going to do this. All right, this is, uh, this is the nail here. All right, this is the nail. And we apply the first layer. This is the natural nail here. Until here. Okay, this is the color. And we fade in this direction. All right. And we eliminate this line because we don't want to see the line. Just the second, the next step, we are going to apply the color, but only until here. And we are going to fade here. Just, we are not going so high anymore because we want only more intensity in this place. All right. After that, we are going to build the nail and uh, the apex of the nail will come here in this place. So if you have any imperfection in your shade, you won't see it because the gel will be here. Just, this is the trick. So this is why you don't have to lose your time making a perfect shade because anyway, you won't see it. I show you right now. So the nail is ready and I'm going to apply the second layers. Um, 
Actually, with this color, you, sh you can work in one layer, but I, I just want to show you how to do it if your color is not covering very good or not so pigmented, then you need two layers and I just want to show you how to do it, all right? So, as I say, I'm going to stay here. Just I just go here. No higher. Okay, I clean my brush. Just with a dry uh, tissue and I fade but this time is actually very easy because the nail is is blue so you are shading blue on blue because this is very very fast to do all right so now she's going into the lamp go I'm going to cure and I'm going to close my uh, my jar uh, these colors are coming for everybody the December the 1st and uh, we will have four more colors for the girls in Belgium uh, four more colors are coming soon all right okay next let's close the brush this, that was the uh, ombre brush all right that's what we're going to do now uh, I'm going to build the nail I'm going to do a white color boom that's white and blue and i'm going to use the natural milky white this is a very nice uh, gel self-leveling gel uh, very easy to use and also very nice to um, combine with the pink uh, if you want to do a baby boom this is favorite so i'm going to open i'm going to show you the color it's um yeah milky wait Oops, it's a milky white and uh, we have jars of uh, 15, 15 uh, milliliter and we have also the bottle. But now I'm going to do, I'm going to use the, the jar, all right? So I, I want to, to, to explain something again, very short. Uh, this, this was the nail when you look from uh, up. And now I want to explain you something when you look from the uh, side. This, uh, um, this is the nail. All right, this is the finger. Here we have the extension. All right. And here we have the color. The blue color we just applied. And here we have the fade. All right, now we are going to build the nail. Um, what is very important that the apex, the apex have to come here, in this place. Because this is the middle of the natural nail, all right? So the nail is going up here and then it's going down here. So here you have the most gel, because here is the point where, where the nail is whiter. And when you go toward the, the free edge, you are going to use less and less and less gel. And this is why you are going to see the blue color here. I hope you understand what I mean. So this is what I'm going to do now with the gel. All right. So let's do this. So now I have my... Uh, this is my gel brush, white, because I'm going to work with white. I have a white brush. <laughs> it's an oval brush number six. I will take a little bit gel and I'm going to apply it all over the nail. A very thin layer. I always do this because I want a um, the, 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 I don't know how to say that, oh my God. The, I want a, a very clean line here. You see? And this, I want to do it with my brush. And here I have a little imperfection, but we are going to fix it later. So I go with the gel all over the nail. So close possible to the skin. 
all right so my nail is wet in this moment and i'm not going to cure i'm going to sculpt the nail directly i take my gel not too much not too much because the gel is strong enough so you don't need a lot of gel look at the color it's very very nice then i'm going to put the gel here this is the place where the apex is coming all right and I'm going to guide the gel to the places I want. And I'm going to leave the gel work for me. All right? This gel is fantastic. So you see, you see now, you don't see the, the fade anymore. All right? So when I go to the free edge, I'm going to use less and less products. the left to the right to the left to the right and so on okay I'm going to turn the hand and I'm going to wait the gel to uh, to how do you say that so, to level in and I'm going to watch from this side And I do like this, if necessary. I'm going to turn the nail again. And I wait. Thus, as you see, is this is very easy, girls. Very, very easy when you do a color boom like this. So, Believe me, if you see it in real life, it's much, much uh, more beautiful. Okay, one more time. And uh, when you are satisfied, you can, uh, you can cure, all right? By turning the finger, uh, yeah, you use the power of gravity to make the gel level itself. All right. Thank you, Anya. Okay, I think I can cure now. Just go. And I'm waiting uh, one minute. Um, when, I'm, when I am working with gel, I try to apply the gel as good as possible. So I don't have to file a lot after that. Uh, so you can, work, uh, you can work very fast in this way. You can save files. You can save time you can save the skin of your client so it is very important that you take your time to apply the gel very good so when she's uh, coming out the lamp i'm going to cleanse and i'm going to file but just a little bit not too much especially when you do a color boom you have to pay attention because uh, you can file the color off and this is like a nightmare so um, you have to be very, very careful and you have to work very, very soft, all right? Uh, yeah, it's ready. So I'm going to cleanse. I remove the tacky layer and I'm going to file just a little bit. So I place my fill under the nail. I don't want to file a lot here, right? Just a little bit here to correct some imperfections, if you have it. And here, of course, because I have a little imperfection here. Uh, after that, I'm going to file just a little bit here. Not too much, very, very soft. If it's not necessary, you don't have to do this. I just want to show you how to do it. But don't do it if not needed. This is a side view of the nail. So you can see it's very thin, but you don't need a very thick nail, okay? 
because this is good enough. I'm going to move my light. Maybe, you know, maybe you can see the color better. It's, yeah. I don't know if you can see it very good. Here in, in real is very, very nice. You can see the difference between white and blue. So when you are satisfied with the shape, as you see, the, the nail is very thin. It's symmetric, so I think I don't need to, to file a lot. Uh, all the gels uh, by Ugly Duckling working in this way. They are all self-leveling. Uh, only the, um, the, the fairy fufu is not self-leveling. This is a very, uh, how do you say that? The structure of the gel is very, uh, yeah, it's not self-leveling. <laughs> it's ideal to do like a reverse or inlays of very long extensions, very extreme shapes. Ah, uh, oh yeah, by the way, I'm working with the coarse uh, buffer. And after that, I'm going to apply a matte top coat. And uh, I'm going to apply some Swarovski crystals. All right. I think it's good. I have a little bit dust here. I don't want to see it. Just these, uh, these tips are even good as and Shablon. I have a little bit color there. <laughs> I need to remove it. Okay, someone is asking uh, if I... Yeah, of course, uh, but uh, if you don't have to file a lot, Michelle, maybe it is better when you do it uh, with, the, with the, just the normal file and not with the e-file. Because if you go too deep, you can take uh, the color off. And you don't want that, believe me. So, uh, I'm going to do the matte top coat. Just a layer matte top coat. And after that, we will do some stones application. Okay, I think now you will see the, the color boom better. Right. I love the matte top coat. Almost all my sets are matte. <laughs> I really love it because it's matte, matte, matte. Okay. We are going to cure. So here you can see the different, the color different, a better look. Here is very blue and here is white, right? Yeah, go. Thank you so much, girls. Thank you. Thus that was the, this was the matte top coat. Uh, I'm going to clean right now when she comes out the, uh, the lamp. And uh, oui, I'm going to apply some Swarovski crystals. And here I have my friend. This is my best friend, the Sticket. I love the Sticket. This is the product I use to, um, to glue all my uh, Swarovskis and other uh, enhancements. Okay. Oui. Tell me this is a new one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here I have the Sticket. And my second best friend <laughs> is the Blinger. Here it is. The blinger uh, has uh, on the one side a dotting tool and on the other side is a wax punt to pick up your stones. All right. Now I'm going to show you how I do this. I'm going to cleanse the nail. 
remove the tacky layer you will see the nail is going to be perfect matte here you can see when i when i point the nail so this way you can see the shade and you don't see any line here um i recommend you girls when you are going to do a color boom to use a easy colors like pastel colors and not too dark colors because this is very very difficult believe me okay there we go here i have my stones and some kind some little uh, caviar beads uh, i'm going i'm going to apply them a little bit random <laughs> very easy design <laughs> So I'm going to do like uh, something here. I, I wanted to do a snow, um, how do you say that? Fleck, flock, no? but it takes a lot of time. So I won't do it. I'm just going to apply some stones here and there. I'm going to change my lights a little bit. Uh, I have too much light here and you don't see the, the color, but later I will show the colors all right so i take a little bit ticket with the uh, dotting tool and i put a little bit here a little bit here too these are uh, white pearls i love pearls but i think you know it <laughs> because i'm using pearls everywhere and i'm going to combine them with um with other stones the more lights I'm going to put here and there a little bit random like this here maybe one more and then in between um, I'm going to place some uh, some of these little uh, bits they are very nice too Believe me, girls, this, uh, the, the crystals, they stay very, very good for three, four weeks uh, when you use the shticket, really. Believe me, it is amazing. Also, the clients who are working a lot with, with water, it, the stones just stay. It's crazy. I'm going to move this because otherwise I have problem with the focus. So. And then I'm going to place some little caviar and I'm going to show you how, how do I do that. Because everybody's asking how do you apply the little caviar bits because I'm having a problem with that. Now I'm showing you how to do that. I'm going to cure just a minute this and then I'm going to, to show you how to, to work with these little bits. Okay, go a moment to the lamp. I find the easier way, and now I'm going to use another another tool. This is the uh, the Omni tool because the point is thinner and it's better when you are working with this. So I take a little bit ticket. Hey, I have a hair. <laughs> Sorry, I take a little bit ticket, and uh, I'm going to put it here on my buffer. <laughs> You have to see my buffers, girls. They are terrible because I do everything here. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, no good. Normally, it's better when you use your, your crystal palette, but yeah. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to put a little bit ticket here. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this bit like this. I put it here into the ticket this way all right after that i take a little bit ticket and i'm going to put it on the place where are where i'm going to place the bit it takes a little bit time but the result is very nice and they are going to stay believe me they are going to stay mm -hmm. 
So I put a couple here and there. See, of these little bits. I hate them, really, but they are very nice. <laughs> I really hate them. All right, wait. I place two more here. Like this. Sometimes they are very annoying. They don't want to stay in the place I want to. I need to put one more here. And so on. So this is the way you work with these little babies. After that we are going to cure and we don't need to do anything else. Then is the nail is ready. You can do this design with uh, all the colors. Uh, later I'm going to, to post a, a photo of this set. I already did. <laughs> okay, you go cure. And don't forget to clean here. I always forget it. And then I have a lot of caviar bits on my buffers. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to, to cleanse your brushes, girls. I'm going to use the uh, Ugly Duckling Cleanser for that. This uh, cleanser has a little bit of oil and your brushes stay very, very soft when you use this to cleanse, all right? Okay, I'm waiting for the nail. Here, as this was the Omni tool to pick up the little bit, and for the Swarovski crystals, I use the blinger. I'm going to clean too. If your point uh, break, you can change it actually, because we have, yeah, you see. We have the, I don't know how to say that. Mm, you can buy them apart and you can change it. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to turn my light off because I hope you can see the color better. I don't know. Yes, I think you can see better now. You can see the shade. You can see the stones better too. So this is the way you do uh, a color boom. Sorry if I make a couple of mistakes, but uh, yeah, you know <laughs> when you are when you go live, this always uh, you have a little bit. Uh, you are a little bit nervous always, of course. <laughs> Nothing comes in the same way you do it when you don't uh, when you work in your. Yeah, in your studio without people looking. <laughs> so this is the way I do that. It's a pointed almond, a color boom, and I did it with color number 19, gel color, and um, gel natural milky white. All right, that's, that's it, girls. Uh, okay, I'm going to turn my camera because I want to say goodbye and uh, thank you to you. Uh, wait a minute. All right. Yay. Okay. Um, hello, everybody. And um, 
Thank you so much uh, for watching this, uh, this live. Um, thank you to the Ugly Duckling team. Thank you to my model, my daughter, Elisa. <laughs> uh, nothing. Uh, the live video will stay in the Ugly Duckling page and maybe I can share it on my own uh, Facebook so you can uh, look at it again. Um, the products you can buy it by uh, your uh, distributor here in Belgium or in Netherlands you can buy by me by alinaoyo.com or by Patricia Funk in Holland in um, at uh, www.neltrend.nl all right thank you so much thank you so much Yvonne uh, Christina Natasha everybody who's there and see you next time Bye-bye. Bye-bye.